Mwadini asu ya nefreze njofu nshe mwima wa suafu wa danu ni mwenyamfu John Peter Amewu Ekasaye. Wase abaino ebeshe ama yujimu ya sefata akosu ewa boss e jumekuni mu. Na wano mu edi sike njinada ni yadu wa mu aba ama mbrendu wa mu edi. Wasi ifu infi mpimi yinu eni edu emienza 2013 mu. Enkrofobi ya no mu ya boss timpini foro na mkuti kwani ya kweni ya saso. Ama mwana shu isikapa kontra ja kudua omudi yetiku mwini nye papa. Yane namso ama ene yedi abini. Enu entinu asuye yenu beshe ama wano mabedi boss edumeko neni mu permiche mani jesino ya yenyushe muu musika simu na uwa bebo wose wedi sikana nasu wama kontraja enye papano jie wanka sa ujijiriji. Since 2013, boss as you are all aware was faced with serious financial crisis due to mountain debt and financial indiscipline. The accumulations of some of this debt arose as a result of failure of the then government policies that they have instituted. This particularly arose from the inappropriate merger between two heavily indebted companies, Tor and Boss. You will recollect that these two companies were put under one umbrella. The two companies had the same managing director leading to breakdown of corporate governance procedures. This development also exposed capacity limitations on part of Boss at its low trading skills and expertise presented demonstrable weakness. A presidential committee, therefore, was tasked to establish the financial position of BOST, recently presented its report, which found inappropriate decisions and actions involving BOST transactions. The recent payment to Springfield Energy Limited by BOST is one of the many, many, many claims made by 16 BDCs to BOST to product losses occurring from between 2013 to 2016, as reported by the committee. The total claim on bonds in respect of product losses by BDCs amount to 44 million US dollars. The causes of such product losses must be established to determine the records of storage of these products. Those responsible for loading the products, the financial receipt in respect of the products, and the utilizations of the funds. Government of Ghana, under His Excellency Nana Rudakwa Akufadu, has decided that given the extent of financial recklessness found by the committee, an audit will be commissioned into the boss operations between 2013 to 2018. This will ensure that persons against whom adverse findings will be made will of course face the full rigors of the law.